Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 15th of October 2023. Hope you are keeping well. It's Sunday evening here in Bangkok. Had a lazy day. Uh, did walk to the market but didn't walk all the way back. <laughs> Couldn't be bothered to walk back. Um, what's going on in the world? Uh, recently America was trying, the US I mean, was trying to... Uh, draw attention to the plight of the Uyghurs in China, you know, and the human rights uh, denial by the Chinese authorities. Uh, but the trouble is that the US itself um, is a huge denier of human rights. I mean, of course, we've had the recent situation where women are now being forced to give birth against their will uh, in some states in the US. Uh, but also, they continue to execute people. And in Louisiana, uh, the board considering clemency uh, of uh, um, for execution of five death row prisoners has voted against granting clemency hearings. They're not going to hear them because they are pretty sure that the governor would have said, uh, uh, um, OK, let's grant clemency. Uh, he's going to retire in January. So they managed to hold that off so they will be executing them at some point it seems quite likely or certainly possible anyway um, and in Louisiana um, three quarters of the people on death row are people of color 40 percent are deemed intellectually disabled uh, only two white people are um, under on the uh, death row for killing a black person but 60 3% of uh, Louisiana's death row prisoners were convicted of, of killing a white person. Um, and if you tell me racial bias doesn't have any any meaning in, in southern USA, I, I'm afraid I won't believe you. So, uh, anyway, for, the, um, for America to be able to criticize China, and rightly criticize China, of course, um, you know, two wrongs don't make a right, do they? Um, but... Uh, it needs some moral authority and it doesn't have much at the moment, I'm afraid. So uh, we will have to rely on European unions to be more outspoken uh, when it comes to human rights. Of course, though, they don't quite have the same clout as the US in international circles. Right, I can see at least two things. This is the Los Angeles Times expert level Sudoku puzzle. What I can see are the nines blocking down like this giving me a nine here and the other thing that I can see are the eights blocking across here like this so that's what I noticed whilst thinking about um, horrible things like executions we've got another nine actually blocking up here and across there And we've got a pair because we've got one and nine blocking across here. We've got the nine blocking across here and we've got the one here. So that means over here, <coughs> excuse me. We have a pair of one and nine here in these two squares. How will that help us? Um, I don't know. Let's investigate. One and nine. What do we know about twos? Not much. What do we know about fours? Not much. What do we know about fives? Fives are over here. Um, not much about anything, really. <laughs> I know that's one and nine, but it doesn't really help much over here. Let's have a look over here in these four squares, just in case we get something else. So we got one and nine over there. So we're still looking for two, which is available in those squares. Four which is available in those squares. Five has to be somewhere here. 
and the other missing number is six but six could go anywhere I guess so that's not so good all right um so our one and nine didn't bring me much joy but we do have two down here and up here instead so that will be useful Uh, all right, let's go through um, bit by bit. What do I know? Obviously, I know the ones are like that. There, but up here, I'm not sure. Twos, um, anything astounding? Not particularly. Threes are up here. So we have one and three up here. Fours somewhere along there. Fives there. Also, I said fives have to be in these squares. Sixes sevens up here, somewhere along there. Ah, that's nice. Okay, we've got eights limited to these squares down here. If you check on the pattern that eight that runs across the top here and eights that block up. So we'll get eights there, which means we could only look for eights along these three squares. And guess what? We've got eight there and there. So we will get an eight in this square. Nines now must be like this. This is a pair of nine and two now, nine and two like this. So that's nine and two. Let's hope that gives us something else. It does five blocking down here and five across here means that that's a five, five across here and five there. There's a five. Uh, five and four blocking up here. So we have ourselves a pair of four and five here. That's going to give five blocking up here, five across here, five across there. There's our five. <clears throat> we have a pair of fours here now. Um, right, this was four and five, so this has to be seven and something. Seven blocking across here. Here's the seven. What is the something? Four, five, this is a six. Three blocking up like so puts the three there. One is what we need to complete the column. And we are left here with six blocking that square. And this will be an eight. Eight across here and across here there's an eight. 
and that's that's it with the eights because if you remember we had them in those squares a uh, short time ago all right uh what's left to be got up here one and something one and four so this is six seven eight and the only thing intersecting here is an eight six seven hmm. anyway we've done something so let's start walking around the houses again oh wait a minute what's missing down here seven three and seven Uh, and I worked out this, didn't I? Now this was two nine, wasn't it? Two nine, yes. And this is three seven. So this two nine three seven. What are we left with? Four has to be a four. Okay, over here then is the three seven, and this is going to be four and six, I think. five blocks up here and down there that will give me a five in that square um, can we I think we can fives yes we can like that okay that will give me the five there five back this way here's our five there's our four I remember the four and the five uh, five is now finished that's good four will be up there and here and there Mm, not sure. Now I worked this out, didn't I? This was one and nine, wasn't it? So we can get this. This is one and nine. What are we left with over here? Four for this row. Okay, four across this way, this way, and up here there's our four. Um, we have one blocking up here and across here, there's our one. Seven blocks across here and here there's our seven right then so now we can get this after all because we must be able to work out what goes here this is two and six so this is not two or six it must be three in fact we have the two blocking up there so there's the two and there is the six six blocking down here and across the bottom here will give me six in that square six up to the top gives us a six up there and what's at the bottom seven isn't it we also have seven across here and down there there's our seven the missing number here is it a three i think it is three blocking across here here's a three four is the last number we need there uh, so up here we are looking for one three eight three and eight are there and this has got to be two four seven and we got the two there missing digits here are 
one and four. Okay. Getting nowhere with this. And the last numbers to place up here are uh, six, seven, and eight. Nothing changed there. Oh, yes, it did. Six and eight here now. So that is going to be our seven. Uh, we have one and three blocking up here, and we have one and three blocking up here. So these two squares must contain one and three. And in fact, we've got a three blocking here, so this can't be our three. This has to be our one, and our three must be in that square there. Three blocks across here and across here like this. Oops, a daisy, get the three there. And that was the last three. Right, what else do we need to do? One blocking down here, one across here. That will give us a one in that square. Can't quite finish off the ones. They look like that. Uh, where's our twos? Okay, two blocking this square, two blocking this square in this column. That's the position for two. We can finish off this row with a six, I think it is. And the six blocking up here and up here will give us a six in that square. Six across here and six up there means that's our six. This will be eight, isn't it? Yeah. Eight across here and across here and up there means that is our eight, the last number to place here, one I believe, one blocks across here, there's our one, and uh, not much more to go in this block, there's just a four, and uh, what's left, nine blocks this square here, we don't have nine in this column yet, it must be there, excuse me, and this will be a two I seem to remember, two blocking up there, there's our two, two across this way and this way, there's our two, the last number up here is a four, and we also have four blocking there, and this will be seven, seven blocking across here, there is our seven, here we're looking for a nine, there we're looking for a nine, that's done, that's our Los Angeles Times expert level puzzle for a Sunday over and out. See you around fellow Sudokans, bye bye.